What's up YouTube? It's Ella Snyder and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you couldn't tell by my location and the title of this video, this isn't my moving vlog. Um, yeah, I'm literally an idiot who moved from New York City to Los Angeles in the middle of a pandemic. And so there's not really anything to be filming. I've been here for three weeks. I have no furniture outside of my bedroom, but as that comes in, I'll start filming it and there will be a moving vlog. But instead of that, today, we're redesigning my website. Yay. This is a very different kind of video for me to film, but I've been thinking about it so much recently and I just think that having a website aside from social media is just such a beneficial platform, okay? For showcasing your work, for booking jobs, for selling your work. Like there are so many benefits to having your own website. And I thought it would be fun to, you know, completely redesign mine because there's so much new work I wanna put up and so many things I want to share on my website and take you guys along on that journey, show you how I'm doing it. Maybe this video will be helpful, who knows? Before I get into today's video, I did want to say that we have a sponsor. Again, yay. Um, this video was so kindly sponsored by Wix, which is a user-friendly platform for designing and publishing your own website. They didn't tell me to say that, I just came up with it. Wix, if you want to hire me for your marketing team, actually I have too much on my plate, but I'd be good at it. Wix is actually the platform that I've been using to make my own websites since high school. Um, and so it is so fitting that we are now finally working together as a team. This video is really going to be about me editing my website, not about everything that they're great for. Um, but that's who I'm using and they are, um, sponsoring this video. <laughs> Hopefully this video will inspire some of you to make your own website and if it does you can use this link right here or the link in the description box below to make your own website with Wix. I have definitely rambled enough. It has been so long since I have filmed a sit down talking video that like it feels so weird to me. I have my handy dandy laptop here and we're just gonna start a screen recording. I'm gonna scooch over and we are going to get into designing web design. We're gonna get into web design. <laughs> I'm a web designer now. So if this was a tutorial, which I don't think it is. Wait a minute, girly, let me stop you right there because this is a tutorial. Let's run through how to set up your Wix website. So the first thing you're gonna do when you go to the Wix website is click get started. And I am just going to sign up for a new account. Okay, so once you have an account on Wix, they're going to take you through a little questionnaire to get to know who you are and what you're using this website for. Myself. I have created a website before, a few of them. And I need a portfolio website for my photography. Next, you get to choose what kind of website you would like. Um, so I don't really want a chat section. I do want a place where I can sell my art. I want photo albums and I want bookings. I'm not gonna have any events. I would like my Instagram feed displayed, some videos and a subscription so people can be notified when I add new things to my website. Then you get to pick a template. They have so many and they're all fully customizable. I'm loving this one. Um, for today, I'm gonna be editing the website that I already have. You get to choose your own domain and your plan. They have a free plan and they also have so many more premium plans ranging past that. Um, whether you're just an entrepreneur and wanna have a domain that doesn't have Wix in it. Um, they have a plan for that, like basic plans. They have pro and business plans so you can open like an online shop on your website um, or have like a place to like get booked for jobs on your website. There's a bunch of 
more bougie plans above the free one is what I'm trying to say. Um, and today I actually just upgraded my website from like the cheapest option above free, which is what I've been using for the last four years, um, to a business VIP plan so that I can open a shop on my account and have tech support and stuff like that. Okay. This will be the screen. Okay. So this is what my website looks like right now. Um, it didn't always used to look like this. I honestly, when I get bored, I like to go on Wix and rearrange the design of my website. And that's honestly what this video is. But today we're fully taking it down and starting new. So that will be fun. Um, but the way that I have it right now is I have this one title page with my name, Ella Snyder, and one of my images. Um, and that's the home page. And then over here in the top corner and like very low contrast is different pages of navigation for my website. I definitely want the text to stand out a bit more and just have the website be a bit more easy to navigate. But I'll show you what each page looks like. Um, this is my work page. I honestly kind of laid it out like a Tumblr profile. Um, that was like my inspiration, honestly, thinking about like <laughs> 2014 in the days where like I would go home from school and sign on to tumblr and like curate everything on my feed um but that's just like a little overview of my work and then diary is like a bit more personal it's like less editorial photos and more just like on the go fun like I'm not just doing photography as my job kind of thing um so yeah these are just more of like personal images, and then video is self-explanatory. These are just video projects that I made at Parsons. Um, and then info is a little page where I have a biography, um, some contacts for either getting in touch with me or my agent to book me, as well as clients that I've worked with. All of these things are going to be updated today. So what I'm gonna do is start with the home page, and I'm just gonna get rid of literally everything. So we're starting with a blank page. I'm gonna keep my copyright at the bottom. Um, we're changing the copyright to 2021 and keeping that at the bottom of the page. Um, but what I think I wanna do for my homepage is use it to promote my upcoming photography book that's coming out at the end of this year. Hi, I have some really bad news. Um, I'm editing this video right now and I had finished it last night after four days of working on it and I was exporting it in seven minutes out of the middle just decided to be corrupted files and now they're missing so what we're gonna do here is i'm gonna take this as a blessing in disguise it's gonna be an opportunity to abbreviate this video so that you're not watching 30 minutes of me staring at my computer and i'm just gonna wrap it up in a bow and tell you what i'm doing really quick voice over time this is me editing the current homepage of my website I'm using all of the little elements on the left side to add widgets to my home screen. This is to create a background image. As you can see, I've uploaded a bunch of images to a gallery already on Wix, and I'm using the background tool to pick one for my background. I'm then going in to get rid of this white box and edit some keywords to help my website come up on Google searches, and using the add text and edit text tools to create a title that showcases my upcoming photo book. I also add um, in those elements a place so people can sign up for email updates for my website. Laptop here. Okay, I think my homepage is done. I'm in the preview space right now on Wix. And as you can see, I have the book. Ella Snyder in association with Dazed and Converse presents her first photo book being released in 2021. Sign up for updates, email. And as you can see, the footer at the bottom says 2021 or copyright 2021 by Ella Snyder and more subtle in black has um my youtube channel link and my instagram link and when you scroll to the bottom that's what you see i'm fine with that for now 
truly I don't know how to change that but I'm happy with how this looks for now and so what I'm gonna do is go back to editor and make it so that I when you click the image or the the book like the text it takes you into my work so we're gonna go over to my work page and I honestly don't want to keep this tumblr idea anymore I think what I want to do let's get rid of it and use a like press through gallery instead so you can look at each image one by one really big so for that I'm gonna use the slider with arrows yeah arrow slider um can I change what the arrows look like though yeah I can get rid of them easy we're gonna go and change all of the images in the gallery and just upload the images that I want to have on my website at this point in time and what I like to do on my website is not use it as a place for all of my work I don't really like anywhere online to have all of my work like that's really just for me to have in person to go through but what I like to do is just select like my favorites um oh wait I already have a favorites board actually I believe my boards my favorites open okay so these are all of my favorite images and I'm just gonna go through these and select the ones that I want in this gallery so here we go that photo of Hunter Schaefer I feel like everyone's gonna comment on I didn't take it um it was shot by Leah Clay who I basically commissioned to shoot Hunter um, for for a magazine that I made in high school every comment I get when Hunter is like in one of the images that I put up Everyone's like is that Hunter Schaefer? Is that Hunter Schaefer? Yes, then the last thing that I'm gonna do before actually setting up the gallery is go through all of these images and retitle them so that um, Google recognizes them better and I get more traction on my website because who doesn't want that this is NYC Nightlife by Ella Snyder. Sorry y'all, this process is um, not as fun to narrate, but I'm still going. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I got my gallery to fit the images the way that I want them to be. And what I'm gonna do is just resize way bigger really nice because the image like it doesn't compress okay let's preview it yes okay this is exactly exactly how i wanted this um just way more simple you're looking at one image at a time okay those ones don't want to load but you're looking at one image at a time. If you hover over it, it says 18 out of 22. It has a caption. The arrows aren't distracting um, and everything just looks really clean. So that's exactly how I want my, my work page to look. Okay, so, so I've added a button on my homepage that says view more and when you click that on the published website it's going to take you into my work which is the gallery that we just edited. It's this link right here. Um, it's this gallery, super clean simple page and honestly I feel like that's really all I want on my site right now so I'm going to get rid of the diary page for the time being so manage pages i'm gonna get rid of diary and video and then keep info for info i'm gonna keep my about the artist the same um but scrolling down i just want to add to my clients that i've worked with lexuswix.com thanks to this video the last thing that I want to do is go back to the work page and just make sure that I have a navigational tool. 
yeah this looks literally beautiful to me i am gonna change the text or the font on this page because helvetica is boring i feel like lulo clean might be too much or actually it's like kind of nice about the artist change that to lulo and we're gonna publish guys we're gonna publish the live website let's go see how it looks this is so exciting view site ah here it is okay so this is the live website we have anna as our background cover girl and the book you can can you submit your email huh okay so we're gonna have to change that but view more takes us right into my gallery i love that are these cropped no it was just that one image okay and then you take it into info you have all of that i love it okay so that's my new web design. It's fully live. You can go check it out at the link. It'll be in the description bar also. It, it always is. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if by any chance this video inspired you to go out and build your own website, I actually have a code below so that you can sign up for Wix with my affiliation link. Let me know if you build one. Um, comment the domain down below so I can check it out and we can like be little web designers together. So again, thank you to Wix for so generously sponsoring this video and I will see you guys next time with my official moving vlog. Like and subscribe.